Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through how to assemble a naked wedding cake. Firstly, I just want to show you the difference in these two cakes. Both are the same recipe, the same tins, the same temperature and the same amount of time in the oven, but one in a fan assisted oven and one not. There are many things you can do to minimise the caramelisation on the edges. Some like to use wet newspaper or baking bands, some line the tins differently or use a water bath. But the truth is they could all still end up being completely different colours due to all sorts of different factors. The outside isn't burnt. See, it's still soft and squishy. It's just a darker caramelisation from the different oven. To help get a nice even looking naked cake once it's fully stacked, we can take off this edge to make it a bit more uniformed. You can of course trim it with a knife, but it might leave noticeable cutting angles on the edge if you don't do it perfectly round. Another way is to just simply shave it off. Yep, that's right, give your cake a shave. I have one of these little zesters that I use for oranges and lemons. Just buff this over the surface of the edge and all your cake will be very similar in colour. Unless they are different flavours, of course. Once you're done, cut your cakes in half and then give them a sprinkle with sugar syrup. I'll leave links below to everything I used. The cakes I'm working on here are a 9 inch round. For your bottom tier, attach a layer of your cake to a cake drum. You can use melted ganache, chocolate or royal icing. Then add your fillings like normal, making sure not to overfill them too much. Gently scrape off any excess filling from the outside. Now we need to stop these tiers from moving on all this jam. As there's no ganache or paste on the outside, there's nothing to hold the layers together and it could slide very easily. So we're going to dowel it and the straw passing through the layers will help. Place one down into the centre and mark the height with an edible pen and cut all your straws to the same height. Now to know where to place the dowels, you can take a cake drum to mark it out. You want a template one inch smaller than the cake going above it. So I have a nine inch base and then there's going to be a seven inch on top, but I only want to use a six inch template. You'll see why when I get to the next bit. When adding your dowels, just make sure they are all within that circle. Then wrap it up in cling film. This is to one, stop the cake from drying out and two, adding further protection against the tears sliding. Pop it to one side whilst we work on the next tier. Now I usually stack all my cakes on drums for stability, but you're going to see one of these chunky bad boys on a naked cake, so we're going to use a cake card, even though they are a little bendy. Now you can get these in all sizes, so you'll want one that's one inch smaller than your next tier. I only have cake cards in one size as I very rarely use them, so I'm just cutting mine down. So as I mentioned, my next tier is a seven inch round and I'm cutting my board down to six inch. This is so when my cake is stacked, you won't see the silver board at all. Of course, my joints are going to be covered in fruit anyway, but it's handy to know if yours is going to be super naked and has nothing on the tiers. So I've cut my boards and I have a six inch round for my seven inch cake and a four inch round for my five inch cake. Now add a little ganache to your card and place it in the centre of one of your layers. Stick it into position and let it set. Don't be tempted to continue filling it and stacking it as you'll find the bottom layer might slip on the ganache. Just leave it to firm up before filling. Once you're done, repeat the process for doweling by marking round a 4 inch board. The 5 inch cake is placed on the 4 inch card in the same way. As there's no tears going above this, it doesn't need doweling fully, but it does need some sort of support to stop the tears sliding. Now I have a stack of fruit on mine which will cover up any dowels I add, but if the top of your tier needs to be empty, you can add a dowel up through all the tears but only halfway up the top layer. So push in your straw once you've stacked 3 layers, 
then place the top layer down onto the remaining bit of straw to secure it. That way you shouldn't have a hole on the top. As mine will be covered, I'm going to push mine down from the top. Wrap all your cakes in cling film and then it's time to buy your fruit. I buy the fruit as I set off for delivery so it's fresh. I picked up one pack of large strawberries, some smaller strawberries, one pack of raspberries, two packs of blueberries which cost £9.90. I then went to another shop to get two packs of blackberries which came to £2.98. Then I set off to the venue. My two bottom tiers were sat in Tupperware domes on non-slip matting and I held the top tier on my journey. With you, you'll also need some scissors, a bag of buttercream, a knife and icing sugar. The middle tier is sat in this dome. Place your base cake onto the cake table and unwrap the cling film. You may find the cake has settled overnight or during transport, so just trim the straws back down to height so the next tier doesn't look like it's floating. Squash your bag of buttercream to heat it up a bit and snip off the end. Add buttercream to the top of the base tier and unwrap and carefully place the middle tier on, pushing it central. Do the same for adding the top tier. Now pipe buttercream all around the bottom of the cake and randomly place fruit all around it. Same with the middle and top tiers. Place a pile of buttercream on top for the fruit to stick to. Once all the fruit is on the tiers, fill in the base with extra leftovers. To finish, sprinkle the whole thing with icing sugar. I used a whole pack of blueberries and a few from the second tub. I used most of my two tubs of blackberries, nearly all of my raspberries, most of my small strawberries and large strawberries. This was what was left from a 5 inch, 7 inch and 9 inch 3 tier. So I stacked my naked cakes at the venue just because they're so fragile without their sugar paste. I hope this comes in handy for you. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks guys, see you next week.